Black Tie Bond just released their 2024 Winter Fragrance Oil Collection, and I have all eight of them. So grab your fragrance blotter strip and let's get into it. Hey everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. So today I am wearing my Black Tie Bond shirt. I am team Black Tie Bond. I was sent these oils to give my first impressions. However, it doesn't change these first impressions videos. So we've got eight to dive into. Let's get into it. As I say with all of these videos, put it into wax, put it into some type of application because we all have different olfactory senses. So what works for me may not work for you and vice versa because different strokes for different folks. We are gonna start with my least favorite, but you know, I'm trying. We're gonna start with the gourmands. And so let's get into the sugar cookie. So we've got top notes of buttery, lemon, and orange. We've got middle notes of cookie, sugar, ginger, and nutmeg. And we have a base of creamy vanilla, almond, and Peru balsam. So Peru balsam does, isn't going to smell like a uh, tree balsam. It's going to smell like more vanilla-y, maybe a little earthy, but it's gonna lean more towards the sweet side. So that makes sense for the notes in this blend. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that is bakery. Ooh, that is a sugar cookie. You know what it smells like? Well, it smells like a sugar cookie. It smells like, like that fresh buttery, like a shortbread type cookie with some lemon. Like I'm getting the lemon at the front. Very, very sweet, very vanilla -y. It smells like a freaking cookie. It's, it's a great base. I think this would be a really good blender. You could put this with the Velvet Brew. You know what would be really interesting is if you put this with the Twisted Pumpkin, I think that could be really good. If you love Gourmand and you are looking for a, an authentic sugar cookie, the sugar cookie is for you. <laughs> So I'm not showing bottles today just because I have development bottles, but we know they look like this, you know? All right, let's get into the next super gourmand. It's called the Sugared Chestnut. The top notes are buttercream, almonds, and chestnut. The middle is coffee, honey, peach, interesting, and maple. The base is brown sugar, warm spice, and rich vanilla. So this is sitting here on the blotter strip and it's very strong, very sweet. It smells almost like a caramelly, butterscotch. Let's get into it. Yeah, I mean, it is strong. <sighs> we're growing, we're learning, we're doing this together. We're facing those gourmand fragrances. Come on, Carrie. <laughs> I'm getting this like maple butterscotch caramel with chestnut. It is so sweet. And then it's it's on the finish. It's very vanilla -y, very sweet. Uh, it's probably the sugar and the vanilla. It is good. I'm not picking up a lot of the spices. This tastes good enough to eat. This is great on its own. I think this too would make a great blender, very universal. And honestly, I don't think this is something that is just for fall or winter, like holiday. You could use this year round, especially if you're blending it with other things. The sugared chestnut is very potent, very strong. <clears throat> we need a palate cleanser, right? Let's get into the peppermint twist. Top notes are peppermint, fresh, icy mint. The middle is peppermint, spun sugar. The base is tonka bean, vanilla, and coumarin. So coumarin is, it's a, it's a compound. It's another synthetic kind of vanilla -y type of fragrance. It makes sense in this blend here. I can already smell it on the strip. Let's get our first impressions. <whistles> wow, wow. This is the truest, candy cane fragrance I have ever smelled. Wow, because I'm looking at these notes like, okay, it's got a lot of peppermint, it's minty, but that spun sugar, this this icy mint with the peppermint, holy smokes, this is good. I wanna eat this one. Winter time is my peppermint Bach, peppermint hot chocolate, peppermint mocha coffee. Mm, mm, mm. This smells so freaking good. You know, if you like peppermint, You've got to check out the Gretel's Kiss. Mm. Okay, I love that one. That's my favorite so far. All right, next up we have the Winter Woodlands. Check out these creatives. Oh my goodness, absolutely stunning. Top is Fir Needle, Eucalyptus and Lemon. The middle is Pine, Lily of the Valley, Violet and Dry Sage. The base is Musky, Labdanum, Cedarwood and Patchouli. On the strip, these are all so freaking strong. On the strip, I'm getting that fur and the eucalyptus first and foremost. So I don't know if he is using 
something synthetic. He's not using eucalyptus essential oil, but you know, eucalyptus, If when I'm smelling fragrances with eucalyptus in it, it just makes me choke. It makes my eyes water, because I'm allergic to eucalyptus, like essential oil, eucalyptus, plant everything. So when it's in a fragrance oil, depending upon, I guess, the quality, the potency, it just like strangles me like in a bad way. Wow. This is, wow. This smells so stinking good. It's, it has that like icy cool where like it just cleared my nose. Very fur eucalyptus forward. And then you're, you're getting some of that sage and pine on the back. Oof. Wow. This, this is like frosty air. Different from the first snow. Beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. The next one is called the Risky Christmas. How much do you love that name? <laughs> and matched with this creative, mm, Santa, have a good time. All right. The top notes are orange, pea, and apple. The middle is cinnamon, nutmeg, and cardamom. The base is warm woods, musk, vanilla, and coumarin. Again, we're seeing coumarin here. Just I'm imagining that's going to add some more sweetness, more depth, you know, with just a straight up vanilla. Let's get into it. Ooh. Okay. It, okay. It smells like a cocktail. Like it smells like, um, a bubbly drink. Like I'm getting some like bubbly champagne, like effervescence at the top, very orange forward. Mmm. Okay. And then it's got like a spicy, oh my gosh. I, I would drink this if this were a holiday cocktail. I would, I think I have drank something like this actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Spicy, bubbly, effervescent, bright, like invigorating in a way. Like, yeah. I, I wonder what this, I wonder what this would smell like with the peculiar pine. Just that herbaceous mix with the spices. I get it. I get it, Santa. Risky Christmas. I can't wait to see what this does in wax. Y'all don't sleep on this one. All right, let's get into the Fireside Noel. The top notes are mulled fruit, which I think I'm smelling on the strip right now, fir needle, lemon peel. The middle is clove, cinnamon, maple, and pine. I've got a base of smoky, oh, balsamic frankincense. Okay, musky and mossy. Interesting. I guess that's where you get the name Fireside. I'm not picking up any of the smokiness. Oh. First of all, I love this. This reminds me of a really classic sort of Christmas hearth type of fragrance, but it's more potent, it's spicier, it's stronger. <clears throat> like those mulled fruits and the fur at the front are like, yeah, and the pine. If you like Christmas hearth, you will love this. You know what we need to do. Hold. All right, Fireside Noel. Mm. Christmas hearth from anywhere, honestly, you know, the one I have is uh, candle signs. <laughs> okay. They're identical. This one is so much stronger and spicier. I think that's what I like the most is the black tie bond oils are usually like have a little bit of spiciness to them, but they're definitely more potent. That's so weird. That's so bonkers. This is, I love this. I, I happen to use Christmas hearth in my winter line. It's always a winner. It's always a hit. Do not sleep on Fireside Noel. All right, let's get into the Aspen Chill. The top notes are Ozonic, Citrus, uh, Orange, Cassis. The middle is Aromatic Fir Needle, Green, Clove, Cinnamon. The base is Vanilla, Sugary Berry. Oh, interesting. Soft Cedarwood and Musk. I've never smelled anything like this. It's like a uh, Oh, it's like a really like ozonic, like sweet berry, like with some musk and like trees, like you're outside. Whoa. So that sweetness works so well. What is it? Oh, fir needle. Oh yeah. And cedar wood. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh. So it is citrusy. So it's kind of like that ozonic citrus berry. This is so good. Holy smokes. Cause I know you're going to ask, how is this different to the winter woodland. They're nothing alike. This is very woodlandy, very tree. You got your fir, your pine, and then the aspen chill is like an ozonic sweet berry. Oh man, that is freaking, all right, that's another fave. Oh my goodness, that's really good. 
Okay, the Aspen Chill. All right, so this next one is called the Egyptian Mirage. Top notes are orange, white lily, and lime. The middle is rose, violet, jasmine, warm clove. The base is ambery, musk, cedarwood, and balsamic vinegar. Oh, balsamic vanilla. I don't know why I said vinegar. Let's get into it. Mmm, I love this. This is very like amber forward with floral and I don't know, is there oud in here? I smell oud. Oh, it's got that powdery finish. This is so good. Definitely could be used year round. I don't think this is just a winter type fragrance, but I get it because it's like warm, cozy, like yummy, curl up, you know, in your favorite cashmere blanket or sweater. Mm. Okay, this is fantastic. All right, there's, I know there's only eight, but I'm gonna pick like my top three, maybe four. Okay, okay. So for sure, just cause this is the most real true to life. It's not artificial, the peppermint twist, holy smokes, wow. And then, I mean, honestly, the winter woodlands and the Aspen chill, I mean, I've never smelled anything like that. Like this, that ozonic berry, cedar wood, it's so crazy. It's very, very good, very good. Uh, and the winter woodlands, cause they're so different, but I like that sort of outdoors, earthy, you know, clean, fresh smell. Honorable mention, cause I can't, it's my channel, I'll do what I want. The Risky Christmas. First of all, I love the name, I love the creative, but it's so unique, you know? I don't think I've smelled anything like that. Let me know down below, what are you excited about? What did you pick up during the sale? Did you take advantage? What else did you get? Y'all, if you are not part of the Black Tie Bond Makers Group on Facebook, I'm gonna link it below. Come join us, come be with your BTB fam. We are always talking about what oils we're using, how it's performing in all different kinds of waxes, applications. Share, show us what you're making. We wanna see. And everyone is always sharing like what they recommend you should get. Do you have any like voids that you need to fill in your line or anything like that? We are always chit-chatting. We're super active in there. We would love to have you. So come join us. And until the next one, you guys, I'll see you then. Bye.